your clothes oh well i'm not here i'm shopping oh too. you're shopping too yeah. never mind <laughs> can i ask how much clothes and shoes are should be on a second okay <laughs> The sets are two bucks a piece, everything else is just a dollar a piece. Jeans. Dollar. Dollar, yeah, each one of these. All righty, yeah. thank you. Whoops. Well, these yep. ain't sets, it's just those mm. kind of ideas. Oh, are, are you looking at the bathing suits? Yeah, some of them are split up. Like, see, like this one? Yeah. This one went with this. Four bucks. Thank awesome. you so thank much. You. Have a good one. Tom, give me my other five. Trash can and going yard selling. Right. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. <laughs> How much are your purses and your shoes? Uh, the shoes are a dollar a piece. Okay. The purses are three dollars. All righty, thank you. Is any left hand shoe is a dollar and a half. All right, I'll show you what I got. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then sure. keep it. Six, seven, eight, nine bucks. Alrighty. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. <laughs> I think I picked a good day for you. I think so, yeah. I hope it warms up a little for you. Thank you. It was good putting it all out though because it was nice and cool. I know, better than like July, my goodness. So I wasn't like sweating and dying. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Like, and now I keep hearing it more and more. Yeah. We, well, we wanted an A name from that person. Kind of 
Your hair. Are you going to put, you want, who are you getting it for? Okay. There you go. How much is your hat? There, two dollars. Two dollars. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Welcome to the whole portion of the video where I show you exactly what I picked up at today's yard sales. All right, let's start with the fails, shall we? So I picked up what I thought were two coach purses. And I thought, I wasn't too sure on this one, I'll be honest. But I thought this one looked really good. They're not. They're total fails and total fakes, unfortunately. I did go through the Facebook authentication group that I always recommend. I will put the link to that down below in the description. It's for free. They do it out of the kindness of their hearts, but they're really good at what they do. Um, and they sort of unanimously agreed that both of these were fakes. So I paid $3 a piece. So, you know, $6 wasted, unfortunately, but that's fine. It's, you know, you live, you learn. Um, but I am going to have to sort of dispose of these basically. Oh, well. And yet still at that yard sale, I did find a couple of decent things. So I found a Lennox, I guess like a Santa Claus ornament. I don't know how well it's doing, but that was a dollar. And then I found some Skechers Tone Ups. They absolutely need a little bit of love. They need some conditioning and stuff. There's lots of like loose threads, but they're not actually sort of cracking. If you know what I mean, they really just need a good wipe down and a good clean up. But the Tone Ups can do quite well. I found a pair of Clarks and I grabbed them mostly because I just really liked the style. This kind of like penny loafer with the block heel has done quite well for me in the past so those I think all of the shoes were maybe they were either a dollar or two dollars I think they were a dollar honestly all right you're probably gonna think I've lost my mind so this is a vintage Nike hat <laughs> I grabbed and obviously it's seen better days but I feel really confident that I can bring it back to life if not it was like I think it was two bucks um if I can bring it back to life it'll probably do quite well because it's a vintage spell out if not then you live you learn but I have like a special thing that I can literally put hats in and put them in the um the washing machine so what I'll do is my usual like stain removal trick where I do oxyclean spray and then the powder and then the spray on top of that let it sit for 12 hours put it through the wash and usually that brings everything back to life if it doesn't then and so be it but I think I think I can give this a second chance okay then we have Quacker Factory I only pick up Quacker Factory if it's kind of wild and this one kind of is so we have a monkey theme who knew <laughs> um and obviously the buttons are punctuated with bananas so <laughs> Who could it was a dollar who could say no this thing i think will sell itself just because of the novelty though granted it is a very specific buyer all right and the last yard sale i got a bunch of one dollar bargains so we have a pair of dance ghosts just the very classic black leather in really nice condition i will take my doc martin wonder balm to them which is the product i absolutely recommend and use myself on all of my leather products and if you're wondering what the heck it is, it is linked down below uh, with all of the list of my Amazon items that I use in my reselling business. But I'll use that to basically condition, give it a little bit of a shine before I do my photographs. I'll obviously check for dry rot by giving the soles a really good twist. I've already done it, but I'll double check because they can be prone to like breaking and things if they're not stored correctly. But these look to be in great shape, size 41, so they're a great size and dance goes overall can just do really well. So probably a good sort of 35 to 45 on those. Picked up one pair of American Eagle shorts. I don't pick up all 
all of them. However, I do like them when they're super heavily distressed and when they have the pockets poking out as well. So a dollar for those. Have a dollar for Miss Me jeans. This is definitely like I would assume an older label um, and they're not very blingy. They don't have the button flaps and things like that. But again, they are a dollar and they are a skinny leg as well. And again, we have a pair of big star jeans, one dollar for those. And they are a skinny leg as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for coming along to this yard sale with me, whether we win or lose. eh? <laughs> Once again, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It tells me on YouTube that you rather like this kind of content. And if you do like yard sailing and garage sailing, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can come back and yard sale with me some more. As always, the link to my Facebook group, Thrift Nice, is down below where you can come hang out with fellow resellers and ask your questions. And as always, a link to my Teespring store with fun reseller and thrifting themed merchandise is down below as well. All right, you guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.